How are we going, everybody? Well, it's finally arrived. The long-awaited four-in-one soil survey instrument. Yes, there's plenty on the market like that, but none like this one here in quality. It actually works a treat. Now, this little unit here has four different functions on it. It has light measurement, moisture measurement, heat, and pH. pH is the most important one for me, basically, because I need to understand if our soil's too acidic or too alkaline. Let's have a look at the little functions for starters. So we've got a screen here, nice backlit screen. We've got seven there, which is the pH measurement. Sun factor or light factor is sitting low at the moment. And if we go on the back of here, we switch it over to the other settings and we get the temperature. So we're currently 16 degrees. You've got to be kidding me. It feels like six degrees. Let's just wait for that one to drop down in temperature so it proves me wrong because I feel like I'm getting too old and cold. Did I just say that? I'm not getting cold. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the seriousness. Dry, well, it's in the air, we've got nothing on. One thing I should remember, have I got it in my pocket? Yes, I do. In the past when we did have them, this is going back at least six months, and that's how long it's been since we've been out of stock. This little cap sits on the end here. We did receive numerous emails. Uh, you may mistakenly think it's part of the measuring, measuring uh, device. Uh, but it's not. It's actually a protection cap. You need to take it off. So many people sent an email saying the pH doesn't work. It's stuck on. Don't go up in temperature. <laughs> I'll put the. I'll, let me take the sock off because it's measuring the heat. Um, they forgot to take this off, so it wasn't reading the moisture level or the pH level. So remember to take that off. And it's as simple as stick it in the ground. We're going to do the pH first and sit back and wait. See what happens. We're at nine, eight point five, eight. 7.57, better be 6.5. Come on, Don, stop there. Oh, there we are. So I want it to be around six, six and a half maximum. So we're in the neutral zone there. We're not acidic, we're not too alkaline, just right uh, besides the cold weather. So what's our sun factor? It's low. Let's switch it over now to measure the moisture level. Where are we now? We're 13 degrees in the soil. And what does it say there? I can't see that. Wet? It's wet. So wet plus, so it's quite damp. We don't have to add any water. It rained last night heavily too, by the way, folks. So there you are, we've measured this. Let's go over here. So that had the mulch on it. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Lots of weeds too. So what's the moisture level here? So this soil's sitting at 15 degrees. Give it a second to settle down. It's wet plus as well. Sunlight factor is low. pH level is, I reckon this is gonna be a little bit higher in, in uh, alkalinity. Wow. Is that that high? Nine, 8.5, it better drop. Eight, yeah. It needs about a minute or so to settle in. So you can't just stick it in the ground and expect it to work straight away. It needs to absorb, take the moisture reading on it, as well as the pH. 7.5, wait a little bit longer, I reckon we'll get down to about seven. So this one needs a li little bit more fertilizing. So I reckon we'll put some super food on this, top dress it, and that's what you need to do. So you can't just look at the soil and guess whether it's wet, dry, hot, cold, or the pH is high or low. pH in soil generally is about understanding how much acidity there is in the soil. And it's controlled by adding fertilizers in the organic, obviously, form. Now, if you're using an organic fertilizer, most times it'll be on a neutral base, slightly alkaline. If you want to build the acidity level, you need to put things like blood and bone. Uh, our superfood will actually increase it as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it, really, or some castings or things like that. But you don't use any synthetic fertilizer. We had a little video, or I did one on about synthetic fertilizers, and there's what to watch out for. Where else are we going to go? I've got a bag of compost here, folks, but it's not a little bag, it's a big bulker bag. And no, do not ask for a bulker bag off me because we don't supply it like that. I've had it here for about six or eight weeks. Let's test the pH on this one as well. There it is, seven. Seven, it should get down to six and a half as well. Seven's okay because it's compost, it's aging. Turn back on. Let's check the moisture while we're here. It is, it's wet. That's okay, wet plus. Delicious compost. A little bit dry on top, but it's wet down, down below. All right, and it's 13 degrees, so the temperature's rising, which is, which is good. So that's sitting around seven folks, which is not too bad for compost. Old and aged compost. Let's go check our lettuce. Let's check this out. All right, stick it in the middle here. Nine, 8.5, eight, come on. You can do it, yep, there we are. Keep dropping, 7.5. I like to keep mine about neutral, so around six to seven, realistically, five and a half to six and a half is comfortable. 
but six to seven is good too. So this can do also with a little feed, but it really doesn't need it. Have a look, the plants are doing fine. We've got lots of babies. Wow, we've got a lot of babies coming up here. We've got so many lettuce growing here, it's, it's ridiculous. And they're worth what? Still about six bucks a head? You gotta be kidding me. Why do they go up and down like that? Because every time it rains, they put the price up or something. Uh, banana, 6.5, there we are. There's the reading, that's what I like. Perfect. And that's how you wanna test your soil, folks. This is a four in one. Go around, or get yourself one and go around and check everything in your garden and your pot plants as well. Light, moisture, heat and pH. Available on our website, thesilliesgarden.com. And also, I did, we did do a post on our deciduous fruit trees. They're coming to the end of the season, folks. We need to pot them all up. And obviously when they get potted up, the price goes straight up as well. So we've discounted them by 25% and a little bucket of our super food, 350 grams you get with it. So if you're looking for some plants or fruit trees to plant in your garden and you're in Victoria, pop down to the garden center in Coburg, select your favorite deciduous fruit tree. That is our bare root as well. And you get yourself a little pot, uh, super food pot and the 25% off the retail price. All at thesilliesgarden.com. Don't forget one of these from Eva Silly, Marissi.